Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to configure management IP address through a CLI and moving on, we will be accessing the appliance through a GUI and completing the initial setup wizard. So guys, let's begin with the configuration. We will go to our VMware workstation. Over here, we will be going to the F5 Big IP console. We will log into the appliance. And the very first thing what we are going to see is what is the default IP address for the F5 Big IP appliance. So guys, for doing so, the very first thing what you have to do is you have to type TMSH. TMSH stands for Traffic Management Shell. What is traffic management? These all things we will be going in detail in the coming time. But for now, just understand that traffic management shell, it is a command line interface for managing the big IP system. We will be using the TMSH to configure and manage the big IP system in conjunction with the configuration utility, which is the browser based big IP system and network management tool. So going, uh, going to the command line, you will type TMSH and hit enter. To check the management IP address, the default management IP address of the appliance, the command is list SYS management hyphen IP. It is giving you the default IP address which is 192.168.1.245 I will note down the command for you over here so that you can have a better understanding so the very first thing on the CLA after taking the login you type msh hit enter and then you have given a command list sys for system management hyphen IP this was the command to display the IP address on the management interface and we have seen that the default management IP is 192.168.1.245 now we are going to change this IP address as per our lab topology just quit from this prompt and hit enter and one more thing I would like to show you that if you are seeing that uh, the name on the command line root at the rate localhost further it is saying no license since we haven't activated the license till yet that is the reason it is giving you no licenses and of course it is a standalone machine not in configured in HA that's why it is saying a standalone so to configure uh, the management IP address you will type config config and hit enter it will open a prompt for you and it is saying that using this utility, use this utility to add an IP address, netmask and default route for the management port on this system. Hit enter. Now it is saying select management IP family type. So in our case, we are using IPv4. So we will hit enter on IPv4. Configure IP address. Use automatic configuration of IP address. No, we will configure our own IP address as per our lab topology. So just Using the arrow key, you can move to no, right arrow key and move to no and hit enter. Here you can put the IP address. So as per our lab topology, the management port IP address will be 192.168.0.100 slash 24. So let's put that IP address over here. 192.168.0.100 Use the tab key and hit enter on OK. This will be our net mask. OK. Do you want to create a default route for management port? This is required if you want to connect to the management port from another subnet. So you will say no for now and proceed further. It is giving you the details which you have configured the IP address and the net mask. Hit enter on yes. 
you will be again prompted to the CLI over here. So guys, now we have changed the IP address of our big IP appliance on the management port. So from the physical host, we are going to just try to ping the IP address and it should be able to ping 192.168.0.100. It is pinging. Now let's open the web browser and we will be uh, accessing the appliance through the GUI. Just type the IP address with HTTPS colon double slash 192.168.0.100 Enter Advanced and then accept this and continue Over here the default credentials will be Admin Admin and Click on login Uh, guys over here. I would like to add one more thing now Let's say for example if in case you have forgot the admin username and password I did this purposely over here so, so that I can add one more command for you The default username and password will be admin and admin only but if in case Let's say you forgot the admin password So what you are going to do we will learn over here that how you will reset the password for the admin through the command line Guys, let's go to the command line of our F5 Big IP. Over here, you will be going to TMSH, and I believe that now you know what is TMS. TMS stands for Traffic Management Shell. Hit enter. Over here, you are going to give the command. Uh, this will be this command you are using to reset the admin password. If in case you forgot modify authentic a u t h user the username which will be admin and prompt for password i will just write this uh, command over here Command is modify a u t h user admin. If you are resetting the password for admin, it will be admin. Or if you are resetting it for some other user instead of admin, that in this place it will be that particular user. And prompt for password. So as soon as you will hit enter over here it will ask you to configure your new password for admin user so let's configure the new password and now your password is saved we will save the configuration The command to save the configuration is save sys config. The configuration is saved now. Let me note down this command as well for you. Save sys config. Sorry. So this command will help you to save the password. Now, if in case you want to just quit from this uh, TMOS, then you will type quit and hit enter now we will try to log in to our new password and we are now logging to the appliance through the GUI so guys we have log in to the appliance through a GUI I would like to add a note over here maybe if in case you face a issue uh, like when you are able to uh, when you are trying to access the appliance uh, let's say for example you have entered the credentials the admin user name and password uh, you, there is a possibility in some of your like for some of you 
you may get a prompt like um, unable to contact big IP device or it may say something like uh, you know please wait while the configuration utilities utility start so if in case you face such issue over here and you are not able to log in I am giving a solution guys just in the go to this uh, what we say command line going to command line uh, in the VMware workstation uh, through a command line we have to add these two commands uh, just go to a message okay command line going to the traffic management shell these two commands you have to add this command and then hit enter this second command you have to hit and you can hit enter once you do this uh, that particular error which you are uh, getting on the browser that will be wipe out what you have to do after giving this command in the command line uh, you have to just close the browser and again open and you will be able to access the appliance it won't be for everyone but if in some cases you face the issue i am adding this note this is a workaround for that particular issue okay so guys the very first thing what we are going to do over here is we will activate the license and after activating the licenses we will complete the setup utility so you would have received an email this way okay this is basically a license which is sent by f5 uh, when it was sent in the tutorial when we have downloaded the file from f5 you remember it, uh, we have received a notification on the website saying that the licenses will be sent to you within 30 minutes and uh, i told you over there that yes uh, until the license is completed uh, we will be proceeding with the uh, downloading of the file and the installation so this is the email which you have received right so this particular license key uh, we will be using for our activation purpose okay so just going to licenses over here from the left uh, side you can see the license over here right click on activate over here uh, base registration key is the thing which you require right so we will be using this one WATDL you can see this one so I have copied the things over here we will just copy this and paste it over there once you have you have done with this so after copying this you will see like uh, activation method over here the activation method is automatic which requires outbound connectivity which means you will require internet access and the second option you can find is manual we have internet access on our machine okay so we will say automatic and click on next button over here it will take some time so you have to wait guys we just we miss out one thing that uh, we haven't or what we say we haven't configure the dns setting and all so this device won't be able to reach to the internet right the f5 appliance won't be able to reach to the internet we will do that configuration later but for now we don't need that what we are going to do is we will go with the manual activation method for now okay so the base registration key is the one which we have received from f5 this one watdl okay this you will put it over here and then the activation method let's select manual over here and selecting this option click on next button okay once you are done with this then you will get this page over here and then over here what you have to do is here to access f5 licensing server click over here and it will take you to the f5 site okay uh, if you will see over here it is asking you to enter your dozier so this is the one which you have to copy Control A, select all, Control C to copy, and simply you have to paste it over here. Once you have pasted this over here, click on next button. The end user agreement. So just check this box. I have read and agree to the terms of this license. Click on next. Over here, you will see cut and paste your license key from the below, from the form below. So what you do, either you can download it or you can simply select all, copy it and step 3, 
is a license paste it over here and click on next button so guys what you have learned over here since we were not having uh, internet access on our f5 box uh, i mean the f5 virtual appliance so we were not able to go with the automatic process okay so we have changed the method and we opted for the manual method uh, using the manual method we have seen that we were asked to put the dossier first of all it has taken to the f5 site where we have copied the dossier and then we got a license and we have copied that over here now our f5 appliance must be activated the licenses are activated on our appliance so guys just click on continue over here so we have activated the licenses now and if you will go to the cli you would be able to see that now over here As you can see over here, earlier it was no licenses, but now uh, it is saying in operative standalone. Okay, the next thing what we are going to do is we will proceed with the initial setup wizard. But before we proceed with the initial setup wizard, let me explain you about the resource provisioning. As you can see over here, uh, the current resource allocation. In CPU, it is divided into two OS. One is management and another is TMM. So guys, TMM stands for Traffic Management Microkernel. TMM processes all load balance traffic on the big IP system. TMM runs as a real-time user process within the big IP operating system, which is called TMOS. So over here you can see CPU and memory. The third one you can see the first is CPU, the third one is memory. CPU and memory resources are explicitly provisioned in the big IP configuration. So when we talk about the CPU, 10% is allocated to management, whereas about 89% is allocated to TMM. Just remember that TMM stands for traffic management microkernel. And LTM is 1%. The disk is fully allocated to management. And the memory, the memory is you can say like around 1594 MB is allocated to the management and 26 MB is allocated to TMM. So what is TMM memory? The amount of memory in use by the TMM process. TMM processes the traffic management so this was all about the current resource allocation in your f5 big ip ltm appliance coming down you will see like the provisioning of management local traffic uh, ltm you can see the ltm is by default selected right and it is on the nominal value apart from that you have other licensing modules like asm and global traffic access policy manager apm and so on so if you want to like let's say in future time if you want to enable any one of this module simply you have to check this box and this particular module will be enabled at the same time you can see over here like the memory allocation is also given to asm but for now in this lab we only require ltm so we will simply uncheck this box this was all about the resource provisioning. We will click on next. You can see the details over here. The certificate details, the certificate properties are being shown over here. Then you can simply click on next over here. If you want to import something some certificate you can do it from here but for now we will say click on next we will give the default settings over here in the general properties you have to be a bit careful when you are configuring the things see the management ip will be the one which we have already 
configured and it will be the manual which is 192.168.0.100 this we have initially configured in the command line ipv6 we are not using in our lab topology that we will rule out time zone we will be configuring the time time zone as per our time zone so i will be selecting my time zone over here After selecting the time zone, uh, one more thing, host name we have to give. So I will give like fi big IP dot local domain. This is what I will choose. The host name will be fi big IP dot local domain. Host IP address, use the management port IP address only. We will give the setting as it is and we have selected the time zone now user administration you can disable the lo login for the root account from here or if you want to reset the password that also you can do through a gui from here access, access is enabled so uh, like using a third party tool like a putty or something you can do a ssh if you want to disable that just uncheck this box from where you want to allow the ssh access that also you can define from all address or you can specify a range that from specify address only i want to allow the ssh access that's that's all in this particular page let's click on next it is saying that some field below certain errors correct before continuing okay for the root account okay we will just set the password over here for the root account before we proceed further you know the password which we have like in the initial uh, configuration through a cli we have taken the login and it enforces us to change the password that password we will put over here for the root account and then we will click on next now it is asking for some standard network configuration okay click on next configuration sync high availability we don't need for now we'll just uncheck both the boxes just what you have to do uncheck the first it will uncheck the second one also click on next internal network configuration so guys when I talk about internal network configuration, the very first thing I will take you to the uh, our lab topology. So this is our lab topology and internal network it will be 10.1.1.100 internal one. So let's put the IP address uh, uh, 10.1.1.100. The net mask will be 255.255.255.0. Over here in the port lockdown, keep it as allow default. VLAN tag ID will be auto. VLAN interface will be one dot. In our let's take the lab topology. It is supposed to be one dot, right? So we will say the internal LAN VLAN interface will be one dot two. Tagging option over here in the tagging option, you have to say untag. Add it over here. Uh, see, uh, this we can change later also. I will show you, but uh, we are doing the initial setup wizard, so uh, the initial configuration we will complete over here itself. We are go going to do the internal network configuration. I mean, uh, we are doing this particular port configuration. So we have put the IP address 10.1.1.100. We have said that the interface will be VLAN tagging 1.2. VLAN interface will be 1. Over here for the internal IP, select we have selected that 1.2 over here and tagging we have set and tag after doing this we have added this okay so 1.2 is tagged as per our network design click on next button over here over here external network configuration it is asking so we will put the external 
surface IP which will be 172.16.1.100 172.16.1.100 and the net mask will be 255.255.255.0 the put lockdown option over here it is the external uh, interface right so say allow none and default gateway we will not be putting over here for now vlan name is external vlan tag id auto and the vlan interface will be 1.1 and and click on add button so now we have added uh, we have configured the external interface ip address and the vlan interface as 1.1 over here and untag and click on finish button let me show you before I click finish. Just let me show you why we have added 1.2. You see, in our network design on the external side, 1.1 we have tag right. So, in the design, it is 1.1 for internal, it was 1.2 that we have done now. For the external, it is 1.1 that we have added over here and click on finish button. So, guys, basically, now what we have done is we have completed with our setup initial setup wizard and you can see now you're getting the options for your fi ltm appliance statistics i apps dns local traffic and all the options now they are available with you over here so guys uh, let's quickly recall what we have done in this lab uh, basically uh, we have done the initial configuration uh, wizard but before that we have activated the licenses okay uh, at, at the beginning of this tutorial, we have configured the management IP. We have seen the commands, how to set up the management IP. Like uh, starting from here, we are going to the TM, uh, TM shell. Uh, we have seen how you will check the management IP address. Then uh, we have seen that how uh, if required, how you will change the admin password if you have forgot from the CLI. And uh, we have taken the login to the appliance through the newly configured management ip address but yes before that i would like to add that i have shown you if in case uh, you are facing a difficulty in login uh, through a gui so this command you have to use i didn't face in in our lab when i was showing i didn't face but if in case you face very rarely th these two commands you have to run into tmsh in the cli then thereafter uh, taking the login to the appliance very first we have activated the licenses yes we were uh, on the wrong track where i have said you that we will go with the automatic licensing activation but the appliance doesn't have the internet access so we are not able to do so then what we did we have tried to activate through a manual and yes we were able to do it by copying the dossier then copying the license keys through uh, going to the f5 website then thereafter we have completed the initial setup wizard for the appliances where we have added the internal interface external interface and many things over there so that's all guys in this tutorial so in the coming tutorial we will be learning about some important terms and terminologies we will see what is server load balancing this all terms and terminologies which will be we will be learning in the coming tutorial will be very much helpful to for you to go through the entire series of this fi so that's all guys in this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now see you in the next tutorial